Hello and welcome to Not The Dragon Shed for another Soak of the Month. Um, I've probably said this a number of times <laughs> over the year that uh, we are going to Canada this year. So uh, by the time this video comes out we should have already been and come home again. So this soap is kind of a celebration of our Canadian holiday. So I've got a maple leaf soap, uh, cookie cutter but I've got a problem. <laughs> One, it doesn't actually fit inside my bar moulds and I can get it into my loaf but only if I put it at a strange angle so yeah there is a problem here so I think I'm going to hand cut soap bean beds for the bars so that I can actually make the Canadian flag and just do a simple kind of stacked line of pieces in the mould here that's the plan okay so what I have in this loaf tin is half of a batch of shea butter soap. So did this uh, about 24 hours ago and I always put a little bit of water in the bottom of one of these before I line it so it's easy to actually move the um, clean film around. This is not a great red, um, but this is the second time I've tried to make a red and it seems that shea butter doesn't really do a red very well. It comes out kind of orangey yuck. <laughs> so um, this has got all four of my red mica colours in it and it's still come out this kind of dark, slightly beigey peachy colour. So that's what I'm stuck with. I don't have time to make another. So, I'm going to just start by just cutting out as many of these as I can. Now, because the cutter is shorter than the depth, or less deep than the depth of the soap, I'm going to have to go kind of halfway and then trim off that and free the piece this way. I'm going to try and get the maximum depth without losing too much soap. Okay, like that. You can see I've still lost a bit. It's still a little, little squidgy because it's only 24 hours old, this soap. and I'll just trim around the edges of the cutter. I probably should have let this set for a couple of days so it's slightly harder but as I said I don't have a couple of days. This help. Shea butter at 24 hours old makes a really great soap that is malleable and I should never have given up those lessons on moulding, <laughs> on um, plasticine moulding and sculpting because um, I've, I'm concerned that I will be thrown out of Canada before I arrive. <laughs> These look ugly but oh never mind. So anyway I've got two coloured bars and something that resembles a maple leaf in the middle there. I've also got a chunk left over. Um, I could have made another um, cut out with it but I don't think I need more than seven really to fit in here so okay so this is the other half of my batch um, I just made up the half batch yesterday for the uh, reddish bits so same again shea butter recipe <coughs> A reminder to those who aren't regular watchers, shea butter accelerates like mad. So um, if you're trying to do anything particularly intricate, this isn't an ideal um, soap mix. Although something like this, it now seems, it's great for doing little um, shaped um, sculpted embeds. At least I think it is. I'm hoping this doesn't cause any um, change to the chemical structure or anything having been played about with. So we shall see. Okay, so I've got more oils in here. Um, everything is at room temp 
because I, I melted the oils and mixed the lye at uh, about half past eight this morning. So it's now three in the afternoon. So this is plenty cool enough to, to work with and hopefully cool enough to slow down the reaction slightly. But as I said, lye does accelerate quite quickly. with spatula just to get it started you could do the whole thing with a spatula or with a little um, plastic whisk but I don't really have the patience that's probably why it accelerates so much <laughs> okay so I'm going to give it a quick whiz with my blender and hopefully from that angle you'll be able to see it going from whitey cream all the way up like that this batch goes to trace really quickly which is great but not so great if you're trying to do something with layers and things okay so we are pretty much at trace there is the same one I used in the red and this is a sticky toffee pudding fragrance and I couldn't find a maple one that I liked so this is the closest I could get just about perfect okay without panning that one okay okay zero that out so I'm just gonna stir this through it will accelerate considerably okay so now I'm gonna work quite fast so I'll do the bars first so these are not kind of stuck in with anything so they're liable to move which is fine I'm just going to pour the soap down one side of my in quote marks leaf Try to avoid getting it on top. She says I haven't got any on top. Okay, so I'm just going to keep topping this until everything is fairly level. I suspect I will have to cut the front off to make these look neater because I don't think I did particularly well with the moulding of that. Okay, so that's that bit done. Now for the main loaf, I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. And then arrange my cutouts on an angle into the bottom fairly evenly spaced it's easier when I've got seven rather than six to do so it means that the end pieces are only going to have one leaf whereas all the other cuts should have at least two sides Push these slightly in so it's all balanced. That and then pour over the rest. Oh no, I'm short. Okay, so that's not great.
Okay, so maths didn't quite work out. I could have done with another oh, an inch or so of depth on here. Oh well, never mind. I think that was that much <laughs> of mix. So, I can't do much else without them. I'm just going to give it a quick tap to make sure there aren't any bubbles kind of gathering around the leaves. Um, yeah, uh, this may well see me chucked out of Canada. <laughs> Hopefully this is coming out after we've been, so it shouldn't cause, they shouldn't have reason to throw me out before I start. So everything gets a good coat of uh, alcohol and I'll cover this with um, some clean for about 12 hours and then remove that and just leave a towel over the top for at least 48. So yeah, I'll have a look at this in a couple of these have been sitting for 24 hours or thereabouts. Um, I was slightly concerned that having kind of remoulded the um, the red, it would go a little funny, but it doesn't seem to have degraded a lot. I mean, this this was the last of the kind of remoulded stuff, so it looks a real state. But in general, it hasn't ashed or anything like that. I was kind of expecting it to. There we go. Now this is closer to the colour of natural shape, so there's a slight discoloration from the um, the fragrance I put in. The shea butter kind of tends to go a little creamy rather than white. So I'm going back to about an inch in terms of cut size and we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure if that end's going to get anything. So I'll start this way around. If you use the straight blade Slope. solidifies fast but stays sticky for quite some time. <laughs> that's the state. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to trim off the excess, I think. Just to make this look somewhat neat. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> okay. It's part of me that's saying just scrap the whole thing. But it's still a nice soap, and until I know whether or not it's unsafe, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Don't care how ugly it looks. It's my little ugly duckling soap. Um, I should wipe between cuts, but I can just go with this after and tidy up. I think. That's not bad, <laughs> that side of leaf. And that's a pretty good leaf, actually. So I think uh, if I just take off this little bit here, I'll keep that one. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but that's what I'm going with. So. <laughs> In terms of the loaf, one good, one not so good. I 
think a lot of these are going to end up being house soaps. It's because <laughs> I don't want the shame of giving them to someone they look ugly. That's not bad. Piece and that's a bit wonky, okay, so that can come off. So that's another goodish leaf. Um, I think, I don't know, can I get... No, that's probably as much as I can get on that shelf. I'm saying I'm calling this my worst ever. <laughs> That's ignoring the um, the batch that absolutely failed and became too caustic to touch. But even for a failed batch, I'm getting a couple so far that look okay. Where my little in bed actually looks like what it's supposed to look like mostly I think maybe the using of uh, shea butter soap as a kind of play-doh was probably a bad idea it might have slowed down the rate at which this solidifies a bit certainly the the red sections are more gloopy more gluey but that said still coming out quite well so I think if you didn't I don't realise it was a mistake that this um, wasn't as full as it could have been. And this isn't a bad soap. <laughs> I'm going to keep excusing that as much as possible. I think if I'd done maybe one third of the batch as in bed. Then I would have added enough of the white soap to actually fill in because this has quite a chunky cut and that is missed completely. So yeah, I think if I'd have just done a third then we might have been okay. But I won't be using this technique again, <laughs> not like this anyway. Um, I have since rediscovered that I have a silicon leaf mold that has eight or nine different leaves on it one of them is maple so, so in future that will be the one i go for i think so i'm calling that done and i'm saying for the minute that i'm happy with it so yeah that is my O canada soap completed and i'll see you again next week